Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. I'll just cut to the chase. Iron. Real name Rhonda Spencers. Height 6 feet 6 inches to 550 feet. Weight 1,750 pounds to unrevealed. Status, villain turned hero, Cyber League member. Base, New York City, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, witty and cautious. She'll do anything to be trusted. Lethality, only either by accident, when angered, or during a fight. Weaknesses. Though she does have a regeneration system, it would normally take around a few hours for her to repair. Powers. She has great strength and human durability, mass alteration, telepathy, and telekinesis. She could also project vaporizing beams from her eyes, along with a partially flawed regeneration system. Eyes bright silver, formerly green. Hair silverish and flowing. Origin. Rhonda Spencers was the wife of a robotics engineer, though he's normally too busy to spend time with. One day, Rhonda was killed by a mugging gunman and her husband prayed for Goddess to bring her back. Goddess allowed him to place her soul in a massive humanoid body, lined with stainless steel. After being reincarnated, Rhonda had some struggles with controlling her new body. After some uncontrolled rampaging, Iron was eventually defeated by the teamwork of Jenny, Jester, and Yellow Jacket. After her defeat, Iron gained more control. Nowadays, Iron was marked as a hero and was recently hired by Annihilator to becoming a new member of the Cyber League. Costume. She simply wears nothing, respectively. She doesn't need to wear anything. Teams. Solitary, with the Cyber League, and other heroes. Original inspiration, the Colossus of New York. Here's the next character. Trident. Real name, Aquas Sapiens Alphas. Scientific name. Length, 6 feet to 1,500 miles. Weight, 275 pounds to unrevealed. Status, anti-hero, and queen of the seven seas. Base Alpha Earth. Intelligence Five Braids. Behavior Relentless yet protective. She always enjoys the oceans. Lethality Extremely deadly when angered. Weaknesses She has bad anger issues. Powers She has immense size and strength, is a fast swimmer, can control both water and aquatic animals, can blend into the ocean and wields a massive serrated trident. She has both gills and lungs to breathe above and below water, along with a strong healing factor. Eyes sky blue, hair greenish blue. Origin. Trident is the twin sister of the Alpha Mer, along with being a child of the Ultra Mer. Once, she discovered the Alpha Earth and developed the urge to live there and she was granted access to the planet with the cost of having blue skin. Due to the outrage of her fate, Triant became an anti-hero, along with being the supreme ruler of the oceans. Recently, she saved all of Japan from a massive swarm of Megadons, and was since granted with partial trust from the planet. She's also the one who spawned the Mermians on the Alpha Earth, which are the main organisms for her to forever rule over. Costume. She wears a latex top that blends with her skin. Team, solitary, or with others. Original inspiration, Merfolk. Here's the last character. Molter. Real name, Lawrence Waters. Height, 6 feet, 2.5 inches. Weight, 6 ounces to 194 pounds. Status, anti-hero and Legion of Men member. Base, default Earth bubble. Intelligence, two brains to three brains. Behavior, menacing, bloodthirsty, and disgusting. He'll do anything to cure his hunger, no matter the lives he needs to take. Lethality, 
highly lethal to most opponents. Weaknesses. Extreme temperatures. Powers. He can melt all or part of his body, has great strength and durability while he's melting, can turn into a puddle as a means to flee, and can suck the flesh off your bones. Eyes grayish blue, hair none. Origin. Lawrence Waters was a naturalist who always enjoyed volcanoes. One time, when he was touring an active volcano, he was attacked and chased by Neuron to the edge of the volcano. At that point, Neuron blasted him with, the nu with her nuclear beam, knocking Lawrence into the magma. Somehow, instead of dying, he got infused with the ability to melt his body, along with the bad urge to eat flesh. After being stopped by the hoof heroes, Pym arrived and gave Moulter his own ring of nourishment, gaining, granting him with partial liberation. Since then, Moulter would serve as a new member of the Legion of Men. Costume. He simply wears nothing official, just whatever he feels like wearing. Teams. Solitary with the Legion of Men or others. Origin of Inspiration. The Incredible Melting Man. Well, those are the three characters I'm going to introduce, and I'm planning to make a video for Valentine's Day because it's on a Wednesday and such. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. I hope you guys have a decent Valentine's Day with the time is nigh and all that stuff. Until next time, in transmission.